I did not sit on the floor for four, five, six, seven hours. I did not spend, you know, all my coins sitting there all day. Sis, this is it. So we fade in the rhythm. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Jen Rodriguez. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the party. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family. If you are a returning visitor, come on in y'all. We got something to talk about. So today I am reviewing this beautiful wig from Braids Queen. I know you've probably seen it around on Facebook and every, every other place, but I'm gonna give you Jen Rodriguez's take on it, okay? Let's go. Charlie, you know, we got to do a little unboxing. This is the bag that it came in. Nice satin bag. Inside was the wig itself, two wig caps, barrettes you can add to the braids, and then, of course, the queen herself. So let's take a little tour of this beauty. This is a 30-inch, 100% hand-braided twist ombre wig. Colors go from 1B to 30. They did a really good job with the blend, you guys. So beautiful ombre blend. Inside, there's a nice, comfortable medium cap, two combs on the side, a comb in the back and a non-adjustable band. The top is cornrow, but there are some extra hairs there for you to use as baby hairs if you'd like. Y'all, I'm geeked. I'm so geeked. So as I'm getting the wig situated, it feels really, really comfortable, not too tight, not too big. Having that wig fix really helped for me. I forgot to mention it does have two of those bands in the very, very bottom of the wig in the back for you to adjust as well. There's two tabs on the side that I know to place in the front of my ear. For me, that's a good guide to indicate where that wig should land. So that's a great way to fit your wig if you have questions about that. To secure the wig, I'm just using Got To Be's Glued Free Spray. I'm not using any glue or tape or anything like that. I like to keep my wigs a little bit more natural and I'm gonna be cutting it pretty close, so I'm just using the spray. To help alleviate the pressure before blow drying, I'm adding a few slits. That just helps me have a little bit more control of where that free spray kind of lands. I don't wanna to add too much spray um, to my actual forehead and I know adding heat might cause it to spread, so I just add a few slits in there to help with that. For the use, I'm just cutting my wig lace in a zigzag motion to help it have more of a natural lay. I don't mind cutting some of those hairline hairs because I probably won't keep them all. I prefer to have really short hairs because I'm not a huge baby hair person. I just like a little bit more natural of a look, so I don't mind cutting some of those hairs off. But once I get by the ear, it's a little bit more free for all. I just try to get as close as I can up to cutting as much of that lace off as possible. I'm a little bit naughty I'm a little bit too consumed But every part of my body Is telling me to run away from you now, honestly, at this point, I don't even have the comb secured and it feels really, really good. So I feel good about moving on to laying down those edges, but I just had to note that it fits so good even without um, placing those combs in there. So before I kind of add my baby hairs, I'm just cutting the hairs that are included with the wig. They're a little long for me. On the sides, I'm leaving a few of my own natural hair out. So I just wanna make sure that it matches the same length. So I'm just gonna go through and trim those um, those baby hairs. To lay down my edges, I am using Patterns Edge Control. This has by, by far been my favorite because it adds a little shine to the hair and it still lets it hold. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just kinda do like a little bit more of a free for all again with my baby hairs. I am not a baby hair guru, so judge if you want, but you've been warned and I told you. I don't do a whole lot with baby hairs, but I feel like I need to do something just to help this feel a little bit more natural. Come a little bit closer, yeah. I can really start over, yeah. In the back of my mind, there's someone waiting on me. You're just waiting. 
wasting my time Because you're scared and lonely Finally got some closure Yeah Alright you guys, so that is me laying down the wig I'm trying my best to show the bottom But 30 inches is really long And I'm tall, so it's hard for me to see the bottom But the bottoms are nice and braided to the ends No frayed ends or anything like that I'm loving how this wig fits. I'm loving the cornrow top. It does feel a little bit squarish to me in some parts. That just might be due to my head shape, but I'm loving it so far. I'm going to try out a couple different styles, some half up, some half downs, maybe a ponytail. So stay tuned as I kind of play around and see what we've got going on with this wig, okay? I'm glad that's what you believe me. All my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye I'm too fly I'm too fly Bye-bye, oh, bye-bye U-G-L-Y That's how you spell goodbye So I attempted a ponytail. My head is kind of small, so it was a little bit more difficult. So I ended up having to do two ponytails on top of each other to try to make it work. A ponytail on the bottom, ponytail on the top. I'm not quite sure if I'm feeling it, so I went ahead and took it down. Now, mind you, I have a little bit of a forehead, so I'm trying something new and bringing some of those braids from the back to the front, almost as a bang. And I'm going to try some of these styles again with this new bang. So what I love about this is that I can bring all the braids that i brought to the front to one side i have a side bang i can split it down the middle have kind of like a middle bang so i'm going to kind of play around with that and see how that works i also found twisting the sections before putting it up with the half up half down actually help since they're corn rolled in different directions so you may want to play around with that for you and see what works I'm a mess Don't know how I got here but I'm blessed Didn't know it'd take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you My confessional. Okay. All right, you guys. So here are my final thoughts on this braids queen wig. I'm gonna lean in. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. This hair took me like 10 minutes to put on. This is total vacation hair. I absolutely love it. The braids are good and secure. They feel really great. The lace is awesome. It's it's nice and it's just so quick and convenient. I love the color. I love the nice brown that it has um, going into this 30 at the bottom. Just a little brightness there. Braids Queen, you saved the day. You saved my vacation here now. This, this, this might be it. This might be it. So you all let me know what you think in the comments. If there's something I could do better, let your girl know. Mm. I just love me some good braids, y'all. I I just, that flowy hair is great, but these braids, oh, I love it. It just makes me feel like such like a Nubian queen. Like I feel really good. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and I will chat with y'all again soon.